Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to check out Bitcoin's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott waves and also classic technical analysis. Now, if you are in a weird, the long term idea in Bitcoin in terms of Elliott waves is that from this point to somewhere of this high, we completed a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure and off of this high to somewhere around the recent price action, we are in a correction structure. Our correction can be in different forms but for now, I have it as a W, X, Y, which in this case, in my primary scenario, is going to be in form of a double zigzag. Here is our first A, B, C into a wave W, correction for a wave X, and the idea in here is that from this point to this point, we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into a wave A, and from here to somewhere around the recent price action, we might be on our way up to have a correction structure. Maybe we can go in this correction a bit higher, doesn't really make a difference one way or the other, in my opinion. This is going to be a correction and for example it can be in form of an a b c expanded flat into a larger degree b leg and well what do you know after this correction in my opinion we're gonna get a solid move down in bitcoin's price chart more like than not in attempt to set new lows and take this one which is going to be somewhere around 15 and a half k so as you can see at least for now and in my primary scenario i do have bitcoin going down and setting new lows but that doesn't mean that we should be ignorant towards a bullish scenario that suggests maybe this point right in here does have the potential to be our final bottom. Now, let's go on some lower time frames and see what is going on in the recent price action. And let's also check out a bullish scenario that suggests again this point right in here can be actually our final bottom. So here we are in H4 time frame. Now, this scenario suggests this bullish one that this point is going to be our final bottom. And if you are confused by these structures, don't worry about it because we are going to explain it all. Basically, if you want to say, for example, if I just do this, there we go. This area, this red one, is going to be a solid region to have your final bottom. Fair enough. Off of this area, you need to see a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure on the upside. And this is going to be a normal 5 wave up. And in this case, the rules are going to be we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave 2 and 4 and also wave 3 shouldn't be the smallest wave. Now, in terms of the sub waves, this is the important part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up into a wave 1. If I just take this one and do, it, do something like this, there we go. Correction for a wave 2, maybe an A, B, C structure, followed by that another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up, probably a big one into our wave 3 right about here correction structure for our way four maybe this time a wxy or it can be actually the same abc something like this or maybe even a triangle structure doesn't really make a difference and then another one two three four five up into our way five right about here understood great because i think we may have something like this going on in bitcoin's price chart and in this bullish scenario you can argue that this is going to be from this point to this point five up into a wave one Correction for our wave 2, maybe an ABC in form of an expanded flat. Another very strong move up into our wave 3. WXY, maybe in form of a double zigzag for our wave 4. And yet another 5 wave on the upside into our wave 5. And at this point, you can argue that this white 5 wave up is going to be into a wave 1. And from this point to somewhere around this low, as long as we're not going to take it, which is going to be somewhere around $24,750, somewhere around that area. This is going to be a correction structure for our wave 2. And from here, you can actually say that maybe we are on our way up to have a very strong extension structure. I mean, this is also a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up into a wave 1, but it's going to be a low degree wave 1 relative to this thing. Followed by that, maybe to somewhere around the recent price action, we are on our way down to have a correction for our wave 2. And after it, we are going to get a huge move up into our wave 3 and 4 and 5. And at this point, again, this white 5 above is going to be into a wave 3, correction for our wave 4, and you can expect yet another move on the upside into our wave 5. And if you are still confused, basically, in this structure that we talked about earlier, if I just do this, there we go. Let's just go around here. Okay. I think we might be in Bitcoin's price chart in case of a bullish scenario somewhere similar to this area right in here. Which first, as you can see, you can expect after this correction is over a huge move up into our wave 3. And also, again, the majority of the move up, at least in this bullish case in Bitcoin's price chart, is actually still remain to be seen. So this is going to be a very much bullish scenario. But I'm going to tell you it's not going to be my primary one. No, this can be, sure, an alternate scenario. But again, in my primary case, I still do have Bitcoin going down, setting new lows and taking the low around 
this area which is going to be about 15 and a half k but you know if you want to watch on bitcoin this is going to be a solid possibility now if you are someone like me that's one to be bearish here is a possibility off of the highest high in here about let's say 32k we can have a five wave impulsive structure on the downside and here are the potential sub waves one two three four five into a wave one right about here correction for a wave two maybe a wxy in form of a flat and a zigzag followed by that another one two three four five wave down to somewhere around this point into this yellow wave three right in here and you can say maybe as long as we're not going to take this high which is going to be about 28k this is going to be a correction structure for our way four possibly a wxy in form of a double zigzag here is our first and this is going to be our second abc into our way four and from here we might be in a bearish scenario on our way down to have the sub waves for a larger wave five meaning one two three four five into a wave one and from this point to somewhere on the recent price action or maybe this high we're gonna have a correction for our wave two and well, after our correction is over, in this case, we're going to get a huge move down into our wave 3 and 4 and 5. And for now, this is going to be my primary case. And I do believe, one way or the other, we are going to get a move down in Bitcoin's price chart. What's the reason for it? We talked about it before. You see, this was the last move down right in here in Bitcoin. And as you can see, in here, we do not have a 5 wave impulsive structure on the downside. And more like than not, this is going to be just a very classic A b c a structure on the downside and because we do not have a five wave down and more like than not this is just a correction on the downside it means one way or the other in my opinion we are going to see a move down in bitcoin's price chart in attempt to take this low which is going to be somewhere around 24.9k and probably go a bit more down than that but before that are we going to get a normal move up in bitcoin's price chart or not let's zoom in a bit more on the recent price action and see what is going on in here there we go so in the previous videos, we were saying that maybe from this point to somewhere on the recent price action, we're going to have a correction of structure. It can be in different forms, but we said maybe it's going to be a WXY in form of a flat and a double zigzag. Here is our first ABC in form of a flat structure into a wave W. And then again, ABC down correction for a wave X. And this might be a WXY into a larger wave Y, this red one right around here. Now, can we say that this scenario is still going to be in play? Well, not exactly this thing, but we can find some source of a correction structure that suggests maybe we're going to get another move on the upside. However, at this point, I actually see some bearish signs that suggest maybe this point right around here about, let's say, 27.5k does have the potential to be the top of our correction for wave 2 and maybe the end of our wave buy is going to be right in here. In that case, what is going to be a likely possibility? Let's just read this one and also this one and there we go. I think from this point to somewhere around this high, we can say now we are going to have an A leg and followed by that, maybe to somewhere around here is going to be a correction and structure, possibly an A, B, C or a W, X, Y doesn't really make a difference into a large B leg. And this might be to somewhere around this high or C leg right about here, which if I just bring the lines back for it, you can see it a bit better. There we go. Now, basically, in an ABC structure, if I just go around here, okay, in an ABC, and in this case, a zigzag, the sub waves are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up into a wave A. Let's change the colors to yellow and also bring the lines back. Correction for our B deck, let's say an ABC structure, and this is going to be yet another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave on the upside into our C deck. And now let's go back on the live chart and see can we find the sub waves in order for us to be able to say maybe this is actually going to be an A, B, C in form of a zigzag structure. Well, in that case, here is from this point one, two, three, four, five wave up into an A leg correction for our B leg as you can see, possibly an A, B, C structure. And this might be if I just do this, there we go, another one, two, three, four, five wave up probably in form of an ending diagonal a wedge structure into our c leg right in here so as you can see if you want to say this point right in here is going to be the top of our correction there is actually a very solid case for it and in this case if i just zoom out a bit more there we go previously we said maybe we are going to have a wxy a correction structure in form of a flat and a double zigzag this time it's going to be pretty much the same meaning we are still having a wxy a correction 
but maybe this time it's going to be in form of just a flat and a zigzag structure so why do i say that maybe this point right in here is actually going to be the top of our correction because i see two very important bears first as you can see in this move down right in here off of the highest high we took this low right about here which in terms of classic technical analysis is going to be a very much better sign that suggests maybe this upturn right in here is actually over and this is going to be our first sign the second sign is going to be this you see i think from this high to somewhere on the recent price action we are actually on our way down to have an impulsive structure because this move does look like a very solid impulsive movement and we can have different possibilities for it for example if you want to go with the most bearish case you can say maybe we are on our way down to have a five wave impulsive structure and here are the potential subways one and then two to somewhere around here and then let's say we are on our way down to complete our wave three and four and five and again maybe we are having another one and a two structure and then three four five into this wave three right in here let's make it red and same deal this might be another one and a two structure and in this case we're going to say to somewhere on this point is going to be the end of our wave three now we are on our way to have a correction for our wave four and we can expect another move down into our wave five into this wave three right in here which if i change the colors for this one you can see it a bit better so as you can see this is going to be the most bearish case that suggests at least for now the move down is going to actually continue quite a lot more we can also have another bearish case which is going to be i think a bit of a more reasonably one because i can tell you maybe this point instead right in here is going to be the end of our wave three now we are actually in a correction for our wave four but after it we are going to have just another move on the downside into our wave five and if i just zoom in a bit more around this area there we go i can tell you that this is actually going to be still a wave one but to somewhere around this point instead is going to be the end of our wave two right in here and in this case well okay maybe we are going to have an a and then b and then c in form of a running flat structure for our correction into a wave two and if i just take this one okay this might be another one two three four five wave down into a wave three and i think one way or the other this looks a lot like a correction structure rather than an impulsive movement and for example into our wave four we can have a triangle structure which is going to be something like this a and then maybe to somewhere around here our b leg and then this is going to be our c leg our wave d and yet another move on the upside into our e leg and if i just bring the lines back for it you can see it a bit better there we go and you can say maybe even from the current point we can have a move down of course we can have another scenario that suggests maybe our c leg actually hasn't ended and followed by that after a very small move up we can have a move down into our d leg and yet another move on the upside into our e leg and then we can have a move down in triangles it's not necessarily clear when is going to be the end of our correction but like i said one way or the other i think the nature of this move right in here does not look like an impulsive movement no more like than not it's just a correction structure maybe a triangle into our way four and followed by that we are going to have another move on the downside into our way five so let's have our final conclusion and wrap up the video basically for two very important reasons in my opinion there is a chance that this point right in here might be actually the top of our correction for our wave 2 right in here and we can say we completed a 1 and a 2 structure and now we might be on our way down to have a huge wave 3 and then 4 and then 5 and because wave 3 is usually again usually the longest wave you can expect a very strong move down in bitcoin's price chart and here are the important signs first in this recent move down in bitcoin's price chart we took this right in here which is going to be about let's say 26 and a half k which to me in case of classic technical analysis is going to be a very much important bearish sign and the second sign is going to be in this move down i think we might be actually able to find a five wave impulsive structure and not a correction and it means okay there's a chance that from this point we are on our way down to have a one two three four five wave impulsive structure and in this bearish scenario you can say that off of this side this is going to be five down into a wave one correction for our wave two followed by that we are going to get a huge move down into our wave three and four and five and if i just change the colors for it let's make it red sure this red five wave down is going to be into this logic wave three right around here followed by that we're gonna have a correction for our wave four and after that, another move on the downside into our wave five but maybe before we complete all these things we're gonna have another move down into this yellow wave five right around here after our correction is over and followed by that we may actually get a move up a decently big one maybe if i just 
take the Fibonacci from this point. Let's say our wave 5 is going to end somewhere around here. There we go. One likely target for the next move up, which is going to be into our wave 2, can be somewhere between 61 to 78% of the Fibonacci retracement level, which is going to be between 27 to $27,200. But hey, before that, we're going to have probably another move down in Bitcoin's price chart. And I hope I explained that well and you understood what is going on in Bitcoin. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and also follow me on Twitter. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.